call me Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the rumba beat. When I play the maracas, I go chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom. Yes, sir, I'm Cuban Pete. I'm the crazy man at the street. When I start to dance. So for the very first fandom feature of 2019. January is going to start a trend this year because I thought that it would be appropriate that when it comes to some of my favorite films of all time, we also need to give important milestones some notice. So I want to talk about some of my all-time favorite films that are actually celebrating anniversaries this entire year, whether it's something like the 10th anniversary or something like, I don't know, maybe the 80th anniversary. There are definitely so many great films to talk about, and today, I want to talk about one of the most fun and entertaining comic book-based films of all time, celebrating its 25th anniversary. It may not be a favorite of some, but for me and many people that I know, it is definitely one of the better comic book-based films. And that, of course, is the 1994 cult classic, The Mask, starring Jim Carrey, Peter Rygert, Amy Yazbek, and a very young and unknown at the time, now superstar, Cameron Diaz. So this is based on the Dark Horse comic loosely. I'm going to be very, very liberal with that term because the comic is very different from what the film was. But this was the time when Jim Carrey had officially become a household name thanks to his classic comedy, Ace Ventura Pet Detective, and we got him in a comic book-based film where he is a guy named Stanley Ipkiss who is not one of the most appreciated guys, even though he doesn't have a bad bone in his body and really just wants to be a good citizen and a good friend and hopefully find someone that would make him complete. And one day, after a horrible time, everything just shooting him and throwing him down into the mud, he comes across this mask in the city river, and when he puts it on, all of his desires and wildest fantasies come to life. And in the case of Stanley Ipkiss, he's a massive fan of cartoons. Classic cartoons, I might add. So he becomes a living cartoon. So I went to see this movie in theaters because I was a Jim Carrey fan, and the whole concept just looked exciting to me, especially from the trailers. And when I did see it, I remembered seeing it with my brother, my cousin, and my cousin's mom, my aunt, and she couldn't stop raving about this film when we all left the theater, and we all enjoyed it, and this still to this day is one of the more entertaining and most fun films that I have seen. I can quote it line by line at this point in time. The special effects for the time were definitely fantastic, especially if you are a vintage cartoon fan like myself. You guys know my thoughts on Who Framed Roger Rabbit. To actually see a guy like Jim Carrey next to Robin Williams at the time, who was absolutely perfect to play a living, breathing cartoon character, was just a perfect casting. And Cameron Diaz, I had no idea who she was. Nobody did. And she ended up playing the character Tina Carlisle, who definitely had some really good moments in the film. Wasn't the best part of the film. It was really all about Jim Carrey's character, Stanley, and let's not forget his adorable dog, Milo. But this movie has everything for you if you just want a feel-good, entertaining film. It's got some great action, it's got tons of amazing comedy, the visual effects, as I said, absolutely mind-blowing, especially for 1994, and after 25 years, this movie still truly does hold up. For me personally, I think it's Jim Carrey's best role. Next to another one of my personal favorites, which is Liar Liar, I know that he has done so much work, but there's something about the mask that is just truly special to me. Maybe it's the animation fan in me. Maybe it's the comic book fan in me. Or maybe it's because of the fact I'm such a fan of classic slapstick. All of these true vintage comedy moments are scattered throughout this film. I never did actually read the original comic book, but maybe I should, especially considering how dark it is and how different it is compared to the film. And yeah, there even was a sequel for this film called Son of the Mask, but no, I never did see it, and rightfully so, because I heard it was absolutely horrible. How could you possibly have a sequel to The Mask without Jim Carrey? I mean, there were so many ways that a sequel could have been done in the right ways, and especially given the right title, which was called The 
Nask Returns. But this film, if you haven't seen it, I think you'll really, really like it because it's just so much fun. And don't forget to look out for the appearance of Ben Stein as well. That's also a really fun character that was thrown into this film. But yeah, The Mask is one of my personal favorites, and I'm a proud owner of it. Seen it many times, and I think you should too. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please leave your comments in the box below, and let's discuss The Mask, and I will see you in the next one. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here and want to see more of what my channel has to offer, please click on the link to my last video or hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my uploads. Content of all sorts is posted here quite often, so trust me, you do not want to fall behind. I will see you in the comments, and actions speak louder than words.